this is my dorm room and the guys are still sleeping. So today, so today we have a field trip. It's gonna be in Shuzhou and we're taking the whole class with a bus. We're gonna see the sights and we have to meet up here in five minutes. I don't know if I have much time to get any breakfast. Hey guys. Hi. Uh, two robots, uh, one egg. Thank you. Am I late? It's okay, because it's still more people coming. Okay. Another last one. Morning. 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 It's a long driving, you know, like from Shanghai to Suzhou, about two hours. Are they learning how to read? It's a poem, very famous. The poem is written by a very famous poet according to the Chinese culture. So now, right now we're just walking around and some of the people in here have like traditional dresses. And there's a lot of pretty flowers in here. But yeah, it's just walking around in the park, taking pictures, looking at flowers. The battle bus. <laughs> what do you have? Fruit? Yeah, fruit, yeah. Let's Another. go. He wanted to show his appreciation to his mother. Uh, so he built this pagoda. Really? The original one, yeah. So right now I'm at the next position. It was like a 30 minute bus ride from the last place. And it is really cool. This is, a, it's really calm and nice. I'm really at peace. But there was apparently a monk that gave a really good speech here. And then a turtle came to listen from the water. This is the turtle. People take their pictures. They love their pictures. It's a little bit, it's, even more important to get good pictures than to actually be present. Like, even though I'm taking pictures here as well, but still I try to like be present and not focus on the pictures too much. Okay, let's continue. Lunch. All right. It smells like cigarettes. Let's go. Five seconds later, we have the table full of food. I don't, I don't know. It's good fast, not vegetarian. Oh my god. Good food. Okay, so we're at the old street now. No, I think uh, it has to be like water or something. Yeah, true. It would be funny if that would be pollute. Yeah, it's in Okay, okay, yeah. And now we're going to Hangzhou. But luckily, luckily I have my. Oh. KFC break. What's your review on the KFC? How much out of 10? 7. 7? Yeah. Wow. That's a okay, it's 9 o'clock and we are going to the hotel. Yes. White rabbit. A candy that tastes actually pretty good. Greetings from beautiful Hangzhou. We went just outside for like a little stroll and I saw a barber shop so I went to have a bus cut. The day went quite well. A lot of time was spent in the bus, maybe like five to six hours or something like that. I'm really happy, like this is a really great way to see the city. It, it feels unsurprisingly monotonous. Like you can kind of cruise through the whole experience very easily. I think a lot of the point of going into these kind of easy going tourist things is like you get to know people and you get to know your classmates more and you learn Chinese when you have to buy food or we just had to ask for directions on the street because we wanted to find a store to buy some amenities so we needed to ask a lady and the lady was really nice she showed us the way to the to the store and everything tomorrow we will wake up 
eat and continue our way. Good morning. I'm gonna take the noodles. Back to the bus. Wow. How was the escalator? It was really nice. Bricks. Bricks. So this was the old pagoda. This is a little bit what I expected. Like there's too much pollution, you can't really see anything. I think we're gonna go later on one of those boats. Beautiful China. So now we're gonna go on a boat ride. And I don't think that fish is alive. Back on solid land. Don't get into the water. More pictures. Twenty cup of green tea a day can reduce high blood pressure. Wait, you, you bought too much tea. Yeah. You bought a whole bag. I bought fucking capsules. And you're loaded up. Getting food. Bye bye bus. We are now back in Shanghai. And the bus ride took like four hours. And the last two hours was just us getting from the end of Shanghai to the other end of Shanghai. It's a, such a big city. Like the trip as it's entired, it was good. We got to see a lot of things. I bought like a mini tower. This is just literally like a mini pagoda tower. I like these little things. From the tea farm, I got some tea and this cost like 15 to 20 euros and we got to taste it, it was really good. So I wanted to have some home. Like the subscriber count just keeps on growing. And I don't know if it's a good thing, really. Of course it's a good thing. A lot more people see my videos. My, like, arriving to China video has, like, five to six thousand views. It's, like, crazy. I've never gotten that kind of views. But also, when there's a lot of people coming to watch these videos, it also means that there's a lot more people and a lot more opinions that get shown in the comments. And when you read the comments, there is a lot of different opinions about China and I want to be as neutral as possible because it's not really a Finnish thing to start ranting about your ideologies to other people. Like I want to keep them to myself at least for now. So I hope everybody who has subscribed to this channel is open for a lot of different viewpoints. So I don't know if, if a lot of people that subscribed want me to make a certain kind of video and I apologize if this video doesn't meet the requirements of a traditional western guy visits China kind of narrative. If these videos don't suit your needs then you can just unsubscribe. I don't feel bad at it at all. I would make these videos even though if I had zero subscribers. And there's a beetle walking on the ground. But I think I've said enough. I think I have done enough. I will now go maybe to the gym and then we have school tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Chinese language course. Okay, thanks for watching again. See you guys.